Hey everybody, it's John here again, and today I'm going to open up Lucifer for October Frights. It is a, another one of the Chaos Comics figures. Um, if you see my opening of uh, Evil Ernie a few moments, or a few days before, you can see how he's evolved. Now, Diamond Select ended up picking these up in 2001, so it's four years later after Evil Ernie we got this guy. He is a la rather large figure in a big blister box. On the back shows the other figures you can pick up. There's Lucifer. Right up here, um, what do you get when the Lords of Comic Mayhem join forces? With the inmates of a toy insanity, insanity you get the Dark Alliance. Feast your eyes on the teenage vampire assassin Chastity, the vampire crime lord Jade, the predatory vampire goddess of judgment Purgatory, and pray you survive the Lord of Lies, Lucifer. He is one of the chaos lords in the storyline from the comic book series, made in China. Diamond Select Chaos Comics. He looks very detailed. Um, give me a second here and we'll get him outside of the package. So Lucifer here is huge compared to what we've seen before from the Chaos figures. Again, he is by Diamond Select, so he will be fantastically detailed. He has a real, well, fake but actual stra stranded rooted hair for his beard and on his head. Here's a quick look at his face which has a kind of screaming look to it, yellow teeth, white eyes lots of details in his forehead and in his horns his necklace is uh, fully detailed with all sorts of symbols on it you can see the veins the individual veins in his arms he's got some yellow Coloring on his nails, his loincloth is a soft piece, highly detailed as well. You can see all the veins in his legs, lots of detail on his feet and his overgrown toes, and he even got detailing on the bottom of his feet. So, overall, he's quite fantastic. He has a head that swivels, no up or down movement. His shoulders are in ball joints, so they go around and they are hinged. He does have a hinge at his elbow. And his wrist does rotate. And he does move at the waist. No ab crunch or anything. He does have uh, ball jointed hips that go also out quite a bit and back quite a bit and he has a joint in his knee and his uh, ankles as well no rockers though and he's a pretty big boy let's see if we can get him to stand here while we talk about his accessories there we go I even like the pink of his tongue Comes with several accessories. He comes with these horribly messed up heads. They're almost like shrunken heads. With the chains in their eyes that you can hang from his hand. Here's another one. That one looks like it was a painful process. Pretty gory. And the third one, who's kind of got a balding look to it. They're very Hellraiser-like. And they just kind of hit, sit and dangle in his hand like so. And then he comes with this crazy spear, which has this skull on top here, which is very highly detailed. All the pitting in the uh, metal spear parts here are pretty cool 
and the details all the way down the spine until you get to the pelvic bone with the tail in it is uh, also very impressive it is made out of a bendy material so it can be different shaped and it has this little peg hole in it and I believe it also you can hold it in this hand yep that's what the peg hole it's a little hole here to help him hold on to this thing Let's see if we can get it in his hand Go. Nope, oh, didn't make it in. There. So he um, holds his odd spear thing. Kinda. He doesn't really want to go in all the way. So there is our Lucifer. <clears throat> now for a size comparison, here is the Masters Universe He-Man, who he quite towers over. Oh, he's getting a little unbalanced here. Let's see. Get up there. Come on, guys. Work together. He man here doesn't like to stand up on his own anyway. Stay. And also, the Diamond Slug Juggernaut, who himself is a gigantic figure, still is good head shorter than Lucifer here. <clears throat> So Lucifer's a big boy, and quite a cool figure. Um, like I said, he's from 2001, so if you can track him down, I think he would look good on just about anybody's shelf. If you're a fan of Chaos Comics or Lady Death or any of them things, he's definitely a figure that you should pick up. And he just towers over top of Juggernaut, who is one of the bigger... Heavier figures. It not, doesn't have quite the weight. But overall, a very, very nice figure from 2001. Man, that's crazy how long ago that was now. And they came a long way from four years ago when they did that Evil Ernie. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video at all, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button down there. Or if you didn't, hit that dislike button. Um, leave some comments or subscribe <laughs> if you dare